Thanks for clicking on WMUR.com. I'm meteorologist Eric Weglar. It's been a, a fairly interesting day. A decent amount of sunshine to start, but the clouds have built back in. Nice sunset as we look towards Plymouth. Temperatures range in the upper 50s, if not the lower 60s. And there have been hit or miss rain showers at times this afternoon, mainly focused in parts of Carroll and Coas counties from Berlin Point South through, say, North Conway and even near Wolfboro and Ossipee. But the bigger picture finds there is an area of spin lurking off to the west here in parts of, say, Chicago and St. Louis, and that has to get its way eastward over the next couple of days. So with that spin up in the sky, that'll at least ensure we don't see a whole lot of sunshine ahead the next couple of days. Scattered showers return with that. And it is windy as we go into the second half of next week, and we'll touch on that in just a moment. So. We'll take you through the overnight period. Clouds do begin to peel back out as we go into first thing tomorrow morning. That'll allow fog to form in some of the more uh, favorable areas. And through the afternoon, the clouds will build back in from the west here. And we can't rule out a few scattered showers, mainly in the upper valley near Lebanon and Plymouth. Those will come to a close initially early Monday morning, but I think we'll find hit or miss showers again as we go through much of Monday afternoon. So for tonight, let's break this down here. It's chilly temperatures in the 30s and the 40s. Get used to these readings. This is fall. Uh, after all, there will be some fog too, especially by the seacoast first thing tomorrow morning. Fog in, or in and around Jaffrey, Keene and Claremont. Temperatures also in the upper 30s in the Monadnock region overnight tonight. I think you will find fog near Laconia, Center Harbor, Plymouth and even through Andover with temperatures in the upper 30s. And towards the north, there also is the potential for fog mainly along the Connecticut River. So Lancaster, Littleton, even Colebrook as well. I think it's the best chance to see some fog first thing tomorrow morning. Through the afternoon, though, like I mentioned, sunshine will give way to increasing clouds and temperatures in the middle 60s. You've seen this map previously the last couple of days. Still have that severe and extreme drought in the red here from Concord points east through Rochester. Elsewhere, it is the severe drought. Now, I do want to point your attention to the western half of the state here. We saw a decent amount of rain a couple of days prior between two and as much as three inches of rain and we're going to add a bunch more at least up in northwestern New Hampshire as we go towards the second half of the week here. In fact, anywhere from a half an inch to as much as an inch and a half as we go into late Saturday and early Sunday. Elsewhere, it's just enough to get things at a holding pattern. So I do think we'll see that extreme and rather the severe drought in western New Hampshire begin to peel back next week with the latest drought monitor update given how much rain has fallen and is yet to come. The forecast overall, though, isn't all that bright, at least through Wednesday. Temperatures will hold in the middle and upper 60s. Showers or the chance for showers continue on Sunday, Monday, a bit of a break on Tuesday, but more showers arrive late on Wednesday. Before a brightening trend for the end of the work week, the trade off will be it feels a little cooler and there will be a gusty wind Thursday that still persists through Friday. So a bit of a raw start to next weekend. Good news, though, temperatures back up close to 70 on Saturday.